What's up, y'all? My name is Juwan. Coming back at y'all with another video. And today, I'm going to show you guys my two-year hair journey. Me and my hair have been through so much these past two years, good and bad. But you know, this is my baby right here, man. We spent so much time together. Late nights, early morning. We've been on dates. And sometimes we get in little arguments because she keeps flirting with this dude named Shrinkage. Hold up, hold up. Shrinkage, if you watching this, just know it's on site, bruh. Sick of you. But through all of that, I can honestly say she's my best friend, bruh. Your best friend is your hair, bruh. Are you serious? Hey, yo. Bruh, why you always gotta ruin something, dude? Like, no. Oh, so no. it's funny? It's funny? All right. I swear to God, bro. But yeah, man, I'm gonna show you guys everything. I ain't holding nothing back. Mainly to learn from my mistakes and experiences and to know what to expect on your hair journey. Wow, man, Juwan is so amazing for doing this. If only I could repay him. It's funny you said that. Because you can. All I ask is that you hit the like button right now, okay? Don't wait. Do it right now. It literally takes two seconds and it helps the channel out a ton, okay? But if you haven't seen my one year hair journey video, make sure you go watch that after this video. Do not click off of this video. If you do, I'll find you. And I ain't talking how to seek, bruh. It's war. Mm, got me acting out of character. But in that video, I'll start from the very beginning when I had 360 waves and show y'all the entire process of growing my hair out for a year. In this video, I'm gonna start where I left off in part one. I'm gonna have pictures, videos, and I'm gonna be walking y'all through everything I was going through in each month. Most of these pictures and videos are coming from my Insta stories. Make sure you follow me on IG, at GamesJuan. The link is gonna be in the description box below. But enough talking, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Let's get it. All right, so starting from where we left off in my last hair journey video in May of 2019, I did my very first twist out. Hey, y'all, I'm gonna keep it a buck, okay? I thought I was that dude, you feel me? Like, stop playing with me. But looking back at it, it was bad, okay? I don't even know what I was doing. And it's crazy, because people at my job was literally trying to tell me like, bruh, what you doing? But at that point, man, ain't nobody could tell me nothing. I'm like, I could clearly see that y'all all haters. Duh. Like I knew I was a sex symbol. In June, I attempted my second twist out and it was a lot better. Again, it wasn't all that, but you know, we get it somewhere. Progress. Also around this time, even though I was a little late, hair paint wax was still trending, so you know I had to go ahead and copy me some. And around this time, a lot of y'all don't know, but I was seriously struggling with my washing goals. I'm pretty sure most of y'all seen the Kid Sheldy video where I was following his routine. And no lie, those were the best curls I ever had up to that point. But every time after that, I don't know what I was doing different, it just wouldn't come out the same. As y'all can see, my curls weren't as defined, juicy, and bouncy as they once were. So at this point, I just had a lot of stuff to work on. But but again, it's a journey, so let's just keep it moving. In July, your boy was putting in work, bro. I was watching mad videos, experimenting with different products and techniques, and I finally came up with the perfect routine. I mean, just look at this twist out, bro. All you have to do is look at it. I look pretty chill in this video, but on the inside, bro. On the inside, I was like a little kid, bro, bouncing off the walls, jumping up and down. I was too excited, especially when Kishelty reacted to my hair. That's a cold sign, bro. I'm just like. I'm that dude. But yeah, man, this twist out put me on the map and that video blew up. As of now, it got like almost 400,000 views. And I owe it all to y'all, man. Like y'all going crazy with the videos. I really do appreciate all the love and support. Ooh, my eyes are sweating, bro. It's crazy. In August, I got my very first trim. Yes, I've been growing out my hair for a little over a year now and I never got a trim. Do not follow me on that, okay? I was tripping. But anyways, being my first time, I got it professionally done. So the guy washed and blew out my hair and this was also my first time getting a blowout. So just just seeing how long my hair truly was was just ridiculous. But now here's where everything went downhill. The guy told me in order for him to get an accurate cut, he has to flat iron my hair. Y'all know how I am about heat damage. So I was freaking out, man, just asking him all types of questions and stuff just to ensure that nothing can go wrong. He was a professional, so he answered all my questions and knew exactly what he was talking about, which made me really comfortable with getting it done. I was in for a rude awakening. Once I got home, I immediately did my hair routine to get my curls back and I kid you not, I did my entire routine and my hair was ridiculously frizzy with no type of curl definition. I didn't take any pictures or videos because I was freaking out. Like, I don't know if y'all ever seen a thug cry, but a triple OG was finna cry that day, bro. Thankfully, at this time, I was really knowledgeable about my hair and I knew my best bet to get my curls back was to do a protein treatment. I never did one up to this point, so I had to research some good products and stuff. But once I did everything, my curls were back and better than ever. In September, this was the month of finger cords. As y'all know, I was struggling with my wash and go, so I went hard into researching everything I could about finger coils. This is my first attempt at it, and to be honest, 
I'm not mad at it, bro. Like, it looked pretty good to me. Now, what I did to get this result is I just did my normal routine, but I just finger coiled the front part of my hair just to give it that extra definition. Yeah, dude, I wasn't with the whole finger coil every single strand stuff. Like, who got time for that? Like, who's finna do all that? And then I did all that. And doing this along with experimenting with other products just took my results to a whole nother level, as y'all can see here. In the month of October, I was just experimenting more with twist outs and finger coils and also just filming videos. And yeah, when experimenting, you mess up sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of the times. You mess up a lot of the time. What happened here was usually around this time, I kept my twist in for at least three days just to make sure that my twists are 100% dry. But I see how other people talk about how they leave their twist in overnight. I'm like, bet. So I tried it. It was horrible. But overall, the results I was getting in this month was pretty fire. In November, my hair took a backseat, bruh. I was just tired of doing it. And you gonna have times like that. So the very best thing to do in that situation is to get a protective style. For most of this month, I just kept my hair in twist and it worked out pretty good too because I was just really focused on like hitting the gym, bro. Like stop playing with me. And yes, I know I'm Superman. I don't need to go to the gym. I just wanted to see if it was possible to get even more swole than what I already am, you know? <laughs> That's it. So yeah, I was just making sure I was getting my workouts in, eating all my meals, drinking protein shakes, all that. In December, I bought some new hair clippers so I could start cutting my hair. As y'all can see, I'm getting a lot better with cutting my hair. But in the beginning, I was extremely nervous because I didn't have a barber. So if I messed up, I'm gonna have to pick a random barber to fix my hair. And we all know finding a good barber is a journey in itself, bro. I wasn't trying to go through all that. But I don't know, man. At this point, it's pretty much set in stone that every time I try to do something for the first time, it always ends up bad. And cutting my hair was no exception. Yeah, that's me. I can't even explain this. Like, I don't even know what I was doing. Thankfully, I found a good barber to fix me up, and afterwards, you already know I had to get the curls popping. In January, I was getting a little swole. I was getting comments like, boy, you look like a bodybuilder. I'm like, who, me? Stop it, oh, you that? But you right. Yeah. In this month, I tried to get myself box braids for the first time. This blowout was actually insane. I ain't get a blowout since August, and you can clearly see that my hair has been growing since then. Now, when I did my box braids, my parts weren't straight and my roots were puffy. To me, those are the two most important things when doing box braids. So I just rocked them for a little bit because I ain't just do all that work for nothing. Like, I'm gonna get some type of use out of them. I wish I might just wash my hair immediately after doing all that. I will have to hit myself with a two piece. So I took them out like a week later, but while I was taking them out, I was like, I might as well do a braid out, you feel me? Braid outs give you more of a wavy texture and I'm really feeling it. Like, especially when I do a blowout because my hair gets so big. In February, ooh, it was on and popping. I was coming back from revenge, bro. Like I couldn't sleep at night knowing that my box braids ain't come out the way I wanted them to. And plus I wanted to make a tutorial for you guys. So I got right back in the lab. I know now what I got to work on. So I just did more research and then did the entire process over again. This time my roots were way more slicked down and my parts were a lot neater. Y'all can see the results of this by watching my box braid tutorial. That video is doing pretty good as well. It's at around like 200,000 views. So I definitely recommend you go watch that if you haven't already. And then when I took them out and did the braid out, yo, bruh, my hair was flourish. I posted pictures on my Instagram and y'all absolutely loved it, man. Like y'all was going crazy. The most notable thing I did in March was get a deep conditioning cap. Okay, look, I know that doesn't sound amazing, but that was definitely needed. The main thing I preach on my channel, especially if you just starting out, is to deep condition your hair every week. Deep conditioners nourish, strengthen, and moisturize your hair. Heating caps are super important, especially if you guys have low porosity hair like myself, because you need heat to open up the hair cuticles so the deep conditioner can penetrate deep within the hair strand. Before, I would wrap my head with a warm towel, but the thing is, it will cool off way too quickly. So with this, you have a constant flow of heat, which is a lot better. Also, I wanted to throw this video in here. A lot of y'all been asking about my haircut, even though I dropped an entire video on it man like y'all lucky i love y'all real talk but yeah man this video is fire definitely one of my favorite posts on my instagram <clears throat> go follow me at against you one in april i was just trying to improve on cutting my hair i was even cutting other people's hair because around this time barbershops were closed because of quarantine so a lot of you guys were looking hurt and was in need of a haircut so as a young intelligent upcoming barber i took it upon myself to help men from all over the world get their haircuts
It was two people. I'm gonna be real. It was it was just two. But I felt good though. You feel me? Like we go up places off all them. All right, so I'm gonna close it down in May like I did in my last video. This is how my hair is looking. My hair has grown so much these past two years. And I really just credit that on doing the little things consistently throughout this time and really taking care of my hair. I dropped the hair growth video right before this one. The link is gonna be above. Make sure you guys go watch that if you haven't already. But yeah, man, I learned so much this past year. It's ridiculous. I'm on a mission, man. Trying to learn how to do everything with my hair on my own. Like I don't want to rely on nobody. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace!